going to be a pain in the ass to find him, but we need to talk to that bus driver. Let's roll. No, nope, still no sign of him. Did you doze off, Rusty? I think you slept through my solving the case. Yeah, yeah, very funny. You just give me a nudge if you see him, right? How about you nudge me? I think that's a job for your wife, though. Oh, Rusty. the bus we're looking for. Ease in behind her and get her to the side Some of the road. Of problem, buddy? LAPD, we're investigating a murder. You had a sailor and a woman in a green dress on your bus late last night? That's correct. And the woman got off first, around 2 a.m.? Yeah, that's right. And the sailor stayed on all the way to downtown. Can you tell us where you let the woman off? On California Street. To tell you the truth, she looked a little lost, like she got off on the wrong stop or something. I didn't like dropping her off near that hobo camp. You've been a big help, Mr. Zeffirelli. So Sailor Boy escaped by the seat of his bell-bottom trousers and left the broad line. Left her by the hobo camp. Which means he's as good as killed her. We can't eliminate any of them, but the disfigured man should be our starting point. I'm gonna call for some backup. These bows hate cops. I think we ought to investigate the hobo lead. Well, if you think we ought to, then I guess we ought to. Straight ahead. So wait for the next turning and go right. Through this intersection. Up ahead, you turn left. Keep on going through here. We're going straight here. Don't turn here. And keep on going. Through this intersection. Up ahead, you make a right. You're making a right at the next intersection. You can drive. We're looking for a tall, disfigured man at the camp. Could be difficult. Most bums look deformed to me. LAPD, we'd like a word with you. Save it for someone who's interested. They're fascists. Move us on and steal what little we have left. Six rounds won't get us far. We need you to stay copacetic. We need to hold out to the cavalry. How do we do that? Like this. Buck got to keep down. If you want your disciples know what share, you did last night? We need to fight for
What's your name? Comrade Stalin. Very funny. We'll find out from your personal effects. Stuart Ackerman. You're under suspicion of murder, Ackerman. We're taking you down. You. You can't do anything more to me than what the Japanese have already done. Kremlin's over here, Phelps. Toss it and see what you find. Still working, Jack. I'm off to the Lighthouse Club in Santa Monica. Hello, Jack. Mr. Benson, this is Courtney Sheldon. He's a buddy of mine from the war. Well, I'm sure you two will want to polish some old war stories. Good evening, Jack. Mr. Sheldon. Good night, sir. Take a seat, Courtney. We need your help, Jack. I told you I would have nothing to do with that. I'm fine too, Jack. Medical school's going well. I got a part-time job. Do dope peddlers need part-time jobs? We made a mistake and we're in trouble, Jack. A local gangster, Mickey Cohen, is putting on the squeeze. So hand it over, walk away. What's stopping you? We had a deal with them, that they would dole it out slowly. They said they would supply abortion clinics and doctors. But they've been moving it on to addicts, and they can't cope with the purity. So your problem is with gangsters being dishonest? My problem is that people are dying, and that if this gets back to us, we'll all end up in jail. So how am I supposed to help, Courtney? This isn't the war. I can't just wave a magic wand and clean up your mess. We want you to negotiate, Jack. The only thing these guys understand is force, Sheldon. They got to the top back east by proving to be more vicious than the English, the Irish, and the Dutch. They make their own laws. That's the nature of a secret society. God's sake, Courtney, you want to be a doctor. How can you fight with that? We are better trained. I didn't make it through the war to come back to this kind of shit, Sheldon. Give me anything to go on. Ackerman doesn't look like much of a dancer. <laughs> <laughs> 